or that you've tried your best and if you haven't, the time is not up, it's never up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always, He's always opened His door. For anyone that wants to repent to Him, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا بِالرَّحْمَةِ قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Say, my dear slaves, my dear slaves, and I want to mention a point over here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, عِبَادِي, عِبَادِي. You know, in certain places in the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word, Ibad, which means slaves. And in other places in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word Habid, which also means slave. They're both slaves. Abd has two different plurals. Abid and Ibad. But over here, addressing you, my dear brother, addressing you, my dear sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, chose the word Ibad. And that's because the ya in the word abid, abid, the ya, it's called ya udhilla. The ya that is free, humil humiliation. So whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about an evil slave of his, he says abid. To humiliate him even further. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَيْسَ بِظَلَّامِ الْعَبِيدِ Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't transgress against his abid. Because they're the ones that have wronged themselves and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls them abid. And he says, if I punish them for the wrong that they have done, then I haven't wronged. This is called ya adhilla, The ya that is for humiliation. And on the contrary, and I promise I'll leave you off with this, on the contrary, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to you, He says to me, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا Oh my dear slaves, and He uses al alif over here. And this is what they call alif al rifaa The alif of highness. So He's addressing you, أَخِي أُخْتِي, He's addressing you in the greatest of manners. He's saying, my beautiful slave, my dear slave, if you transgressed upon your soul, then remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there for you. He's ready to accept. Do not despair from the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. In Allah يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives sins in entirety. Anything that you have done. So there's still time. Five days, it's a lot of time. If Laylatul Qadr comes within these five days, then you're talking about years, and not even five days.